Hi, this is Jennifer Ratner, owner and founder of Ratner Center for Physical Therapy. We're really happy that you've come back to join us for a Movement Monday. You probably saw Paris two weeks ago where she was talking about balance and some things you can do at home for balance. And today what I'm going to be talking about is something that we see way too often in the clinic. People that come in with neck and shoulder pain as a result of poor sitting posture. I'm not going to get into all the mechanics of sitting, but I'm going to give you a couple exercises that you can do after you've been sitting to really help open your up your chest, get your head and neck back in better alignment. We know that the ill effects of sitting can be detrimental, not only to our neck, but to our shoulders. And many times we see patients that come in and most of the problem is really as a result of how they're sitting. We know in today's day and age with computers and technology, we're always on our phones where we're very forward, we're sitting at our desk where we have a very forward head. Ergonomically, our workstations may not be ideal um, for the length amount of time that we're sitting. Many times we come home after a long day, we plop onto the couch and we're sitting in very forward postures um, for a very long period of time. So in order to counteract the ill effects of that, there's a couple things that you can do. The first thing I recommend is actually what we call a corner stretch or a doorway stretch. Some of you may have seen this before, but essentially what you're gonna do is find any corner in your house that's free or any doorway in your house that's free. You're gonna put your arms up into the corner. I'm gonna demonstrate here in just a second. You're gonna lean in nice and easy. You're gonna hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds, then back off, rest about 10 to 15 seconds. My recommendation is that you repeat this four times. So find a good corner. Essentially what you're gonna do four arms up on the wall if you can tolerate it. If you can't tolerate that because it's too much strain through your shoulder, if you have any shoulder issues, I don't recommend you start off with this, but drop your shoulders down just a little bit or drop your arms down just a little bit. And essentially you're just gonna lean into the wall. Your head should be facing forward. You shouldn't have your head cocked back or cocked down. Literally you're looking right into the corner of the wall one foot in front of the other so that your back stays nice and straight. You're not hyper extending in your back and you're just going to lean in and hold. Anytime we do a stretch like that, no bouncing, just a nice gentle hold. You should feel this stretch come across your chest into the front of your shoulder. If you start having any low back pain or anything like that, I recommend you stop. Uh, you don't want to do anything that's going to irritate another body part. The second exercise you're going to do very, very simple is really just a shoulder retraction. I want you to think about pulling your shoulder blades together. All too often, many of us, again, are with forward head, rounded shoulders. The muscles on our backside become really, really weak. So we wanna straighten you up with, an, with a corner or a doorway stretch and open you up first. And then I want you working those shoulder blade muscles. So essentially, I'm gonna have you squeeze your shoulder blades together. I want you to think about your shoulder blades coming back and down, like you're gonna tuck them back into your pockets. Many times people tend to compensate with their upper traps, they're shrugging. A lot of us hold our tension in our neck where we're shrugging. So I want you to think about letting your shoulders melt. And as they melt down, I want you to think about pulling those shoulder blades together. Again, your posture with this exercise is important. I don't recommend you try to do this if you're in a slumped posture. Posture is nice and open, chest up tall, head back over your shoulders where you're not in that forward head position, and then squeeze those shoulder blades together. I want you to hold it for about five to 10 seconds, repeat it 10 times. These are two very simple things that you can do throughout the day, really to help counteract the poor effects of bad sitting posture, or even just long periods of sitting. Even if you sit with really good posture, it's a great idea every 30 minutes to an hour to get up, stretch out, open up. You'll feel better, you'll breathe better, better oxygen to the brain, you'll think better. So again, just some very simple things. If you're having any issues with your neck and or your shoulders, please give us a call. We'd love to see you in the clinic. You can reach us at 817-259-1255. We'd be happy to evaluate you and take a look at you. In the meantime, happy stretching, and then hopefully we'll see you back again in two weeks for another Movement Monday. Thank you so much.